Hey fellow ham geeks, I'm Chris Matthew in 7 ICE here. I hope you guys had an awesome Christmas. Um, I know I did. Um, I was at a ham fest not too long ago and I caught up with Bryson, KC7 LED from the Arizona Near Space Research Group and we talked to him about launching a high altitude air balloon. So here it is. Check it out. Balloon. That is way cool. That's went over my head. Well, we're gonna have to track that thing. They normally put uh, all sorts of cool things like APRS and um, uh, repeater dangling from it and usually a video camera so you can see the uh, earth, high altitude balloons. They normally go to about 100,000 feet curious to learn more about what's on this one so we'll have to go check in at its booth there it is we'll have to go check in at its booth and see what's on it All right, so I found the booth where we're tracking the uh, the air balloon. What's your name? My name is Bryson, KC7 LED. Cool, Bryson, and the ANSR group. All right, and um, so what are, what was on the balloon today? What what did uh, we, we send didn't up? We really light payload today compared to what we normally launch. This was just for uh, demonstration at the ham fest. So yeah. all we have is our amateur tracking equipment on it. So um, I think there's three payloads. One of them is a crossband repeater, and then it also does it has a, a GPS on it and does APRS transmit. We have a, a second APRS package, and then we Embry Riddle College in Prescott has a third package on it. So we have some redundancy in case something fails, we can still recover it. Awesome. Is there any video uh, that we're streaming off of it too, or just there's no, no amateur TV on it right now or anything like that? It's just doing the crossband repeater and the position reports. Cool, so what are we, so we're tracking APRS. Can I come around and see what your tracking station looks like? Sure. So here we are right here, the crosshairs. This is UI view that we're running. Um, that's where we are at the Hamfest, and here's the balloon right up here. Um, okay. We have our altitude 25,000 feet currently. 26,000, we just got an update. Actually, I take that back. We're over here now, we're north of the, the group. Okay. Right up here at the top of the screen. Okay. And these things you usually get up close to a hundred thousand if you're lucky, right? Um, usually over eighty, and if we're lucky, it'll sometimes go over a hundred. It usually pops around ninety. I was reading uh, someone else's. I can't remember. Just uh, a balloon launch somewhere in the United States uh, last week, I think, and they they ran into some power lines and. Didn't have a very successful launch. We've had some pretty interesting launches in the past. We landed high voltage power lines before and had to have APS come cut us down. <laughs> Over here we have a tiny track four with the LCD screen hooked up to it. Oh, very cool. And then there's a I have two USB to serial converters in here. And there's a GPS board over here. So I'm getting the GPS information and then the tracking information through the USB converters and coming out these two USB cables into the computer. 
So normally I'd be driving around in the car with this setup, and then you could see where we were at on the map and see where the balloon is at. Well, that is very cool. Oh, it's, you've it's, already launched it? It's, it's up, yeah. Oh, okay. What time did you say you left? About 8 o'clock. Okay. Ended up for 15 minutes. Huh? And this radio over here is receiving national APRS, the 144.39, and then also the balloon frequency, which is 445.950. Very cool. So what, uh, what else is uh, We're at almost 28,000 feet. Really? Yeah. That's climbing pretty good. I, I work at Air Force Base, and the guys there tell me that they uh, they get about 75, 80 percent return on their their instrument. Uh -huh. They're just relying on people to find them and mail they, them back. There's a little thing on it there. Some of them bring them back. Okay. And then, yeah. Very cool. So uh, we have a crossband repeater on there too. Anybody's welcome to check in if they want. What? Uh, oh, it's a crossband. Yeah. Not not enough room for some duplexers on the payload. The real repeater. <laughs> But um, the receive frequency is 145.56. Uh, uh, oh, the input is 145.56 with a 162.2 PL tone. And then the receive is a 445.525. Very cool. So anybody welcome to listen when we do a launch or check in if you can. Cool. Thank you so much. Hey, well, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Ham Brief. This is New Year's Eve today. Tomorrow is 2011. So I'm wishing all the hams out there a very healthy and prosperous new year. So 73s, everybody. Thank you for listening to Ham Brief and checking out 73s.org.